This video explains the requirement management workflow based on the data synchronization approach. You will learn what data synchronization means in the context of requirement management. How to map data at both the stereotype and element property levels, how to edit or set selected mappings to be used by default. Then we look at a requirement management project example to learn how those concepts could be used in conjunction with other modeling tools. And finally, we will discuss why the synchronization-based requirement management approach is the one you might want to consider as the way to handle all your requirement management projects. Cameo Data Hub is a framework developed to bring external data to a model. It supports different types of requirement management scenarios, such as data synchronization and the link-based approach. Any data used in a model needs to be converted into data types supported by the model's profile. This is also true when model data is used on the external application side. The data is converted into data types supported by the external application. The process of data conversion is also known as data transformation. Data is transformed from one data type into another based on data mappings you create. As a result of data transformation, native model or external application items are created. These items can be used like any other model or external application elements. Even if data from an external data source is not supported by a model directly, once converted, synchronization with the original data type is still available when a data change is detected on either side. Let's take a closer look at how to create data mappings. After adding an external data source, you can access its content and check the data type of each item. Data types, attributes, and relationship names found on a data source could be different from those you see in a model. To make external data available for modeling, you need to create data maps that define what elements should be created in a model based on data received from a data source. These data maps work one or both ways, so you could bring external data into a model or make model elements available in an external application. You are not limited to using only one synchronization direction per project. You can set different directions for different parts of a project. Once set, the synchronization direction can be changed later. You can group the data selected for synchronization by data types or work with each item individually. When data is grouped, you create a data map for the whole group at once. To create a data mapping, you need to select the source item first. Individual items or items grouped by types act as the source data type. Once the source is set, you need to define the target data type. For the selected target, a list of available attributes is provided. As you can see, the panel below lists both source and target attributes. Each pair of source and target attributes is mapped individually. One source attribute can be mapped to one target attribute. Also, an individual attribute can only be used once. Custom elements and attributes are also available for mapping. Let's create a few more data mappings for the rest of the source items. The mappings marked as default ones are applied automatically to the synchronized data scope items when the same data types are found in the source the next time. All items on the source list should be mapped or excluded from the synchronization process. 
Source and target items can also be mapped based on the selected source attribute value. However, this is a more advanced mapping technique, which is demonstrated in a different video. You can find it on the Cutia Magic YouTube channel. When all items selected for synchronization are mapped, the data transformation process begins. As a result of this process, external data proxy items are created. According to the selected synchronization direction, proxy items are created in a model or in an external data source. New items and attributes are created according to the map you defined. Let's look at a more complex example representing a complete requirement management scenario. In this example, we will use previously demonstrated techniques along with other modeling environment functionalities. To bring and transform data from an external application into a model, demonstrate the tools that are available to manage requirements on the model side, review the results of the data change, and see what options you have when resolving data synchronization conflicts. As a result, you will see how the changes applied to a model and external application are synchronized based on your decision. To initiate data synchronization, select Copy Data with Sync in the Cameo Data Hub operations list. Then select the part of the project you need to be available on the model side by simply dragging the selected data to the model. Next, select the data synchronization direction. It can be either two or one way. Now you need to work on mappings to define what elements will be created on the model side from the data imported from the data source. Once the source and target types are defined, you can continue applying mappings on the attributes level. Repeat the same steps for the rest of the selected items. When you finish defining target types and mapping attributes, the data transformation process begins. When the proxies of external data are created in a model, you can use them with modeling tool functionalities such as tables, matrices, or maps. These tools are extremely convenient when you need to work with a large amount of data. Matrices let you create relationships between requirements and other model elements almost instantly. You can add relationships, remove them, and select the direction or type of a relationship. Let's create a few more links by double-clicking intersections on the matrix diagram. When all planned requirement management activities are completed, you can synchronize the result back to the original application. As a lot of changes were applied to the data, you need to review them on the conflict dashboard and decide what changes you would like to make available on the external application side. You can approve all changes at once or one by one, or revert the changes. When at least one change is confirmed, the synchronization process is initiated. The true power of this approach is that all requirement management operations can be performed without leaving the modeling environment. You can even work with a few different data sources simultaneously. This approach covers almost all your requirement management needs. Let's review its major aspects once again. As a user, you have full control over the synchronization process. When dragged and dropped, the data is synchronized one or both ways by simply clicking the synchronization button on the model or the external application side within the modeling environment. Only the selected part of the data is synchronized. You can exclude items from the synchronization scope later if needed. Once set, the synchronization direction can be changed later as well. One of the major benefits of data synchronization is that when proxies of external data become available within the Cutia Magic modeling environment, a lot of powerful modeling techniques are unlocked for you. When external data is in sync, you can use it in tables, matrices, or maps 
which is a very convenient way of working with multiple items at the same time. You can build simulations or use external data as constraints. A modeling tool can even verify your model based on textual requirements. You can watch the video about model verification to learn more about the subject. Once the synchronization scope is set, you have full control over the change. The dedicated Conflict Dashboard displays all the changes detected by the Check Changes command, as well as their statuses. Statuses can be New Entity, Modified, Deleted, Out of Scope, Moved, or Excluded. When an updated item is selected on the Conflict Dashboard, it is also possible to see what exactly was changed at the attributes level. Data synchronization is a very effective requirement management method. However, in some cases, you may find it difficult to use due to certain project-specific restrictions. When you are not allowed to create external data proxies in your model, you can use data links, another requirements management scenario also supported by Cameo Data Hub. For more information on how to use data links, watch the video about it on our YouTube channel. Please contact us if you need more information about this technique or would like to request a live demonstration.